I'm back! Not to be dramatic or anything, it's just that I've taken a long pause. Sorry, there's something on top of the screen. <clears throat> taken a long pause, but now I'm back. Uh, truth be told, this isn't the first take. This is actually the fourth video I've made. But I haven't uploaded any of the other ones because I'm a man of high standards and strive to deliver only the best content to you people. Woo! What do you guys think of my new coat? It, it was advertised as a coat. Shout out Beyond Retro, they got some good clothes. Shout out, it was a uh, advertised as a coat, but it's more of like a shirt. Regardless, I like it, it's a bit small. Short, small sleeves are a bit short, but enough about me. How are you guys doing? Thank you for tuning in today. Thank you to all my new subscribers, and thank you to Rose Hip Tea House. Shout out, can I get a shout out in the house for Rose Hip Tea House? Whew. Right, okay, before I start the video, I've, I've, I've just got to go off on one about Rose Hit Tea House. That, this, I, honestly, when I saw the, the notification that um, they'd hit, they'd commented on my last video, I was fucking gassed as hell. I was up in the mountains in France, I'm back in England now, um, uh, and, shit, what was I talking about? All right, um, fuck, what was I talking about? Uh, yes, thank you, Rose Hit Tea House. Uh, I was up in the mountains, and I didn't have any Wi-Fi, so I turned on my data to just check my notifications, and suddenly, bam, uh, follow request from Rose Hit Tea House, and I was like, what? I was like, what? How could, uh, and I was like, oh shit, they must have, it must be my YouTube video. So I looked on there, and at first I didn't see any notifications. Then I saw the comments, and I was like, Bish! And then I saw they had like 20 more views than before. They shouted me out on their Twitter and their Instagram. <coughs> Boom! Shakalaka! I'm still not over it. It's fucking sick. Pardon my language. Shout out to you guys. I don't know all of your guys' names. Uh, uh, shout out Faye, I think is the singer. Shout out Alice, who's the synth, I think. Shout out... I'm sorry, I don't know the other... Uh, it's... James is one of them, right? I don't know what James does. James, you're still a valid human being, even though I don't know what... Uh, can't place it. And then there's two others, I think, that I can't place. But thank you guys so much. And they are sending me a parcel, and that's not all right, but as soon as it does, I'm gonna, in my next video, I'll include it. Uh, so shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out, Rose at Tea House, shout out, Sammy, bro, shout out mum, shout out dad, shout out Tyvee, shout out Rio, shout out my boys. Not in order of importance. Uh, just all of the love in one big column. It's like a bookshelf of love. And I'm just taking all the books and I'm reading all of it. That doesn't make sense, but neither does this life that we're thrown into. I've been thinking a lot recently about why we're here. Uh, why, why am I here talking to you right now? Why are you watching me? Why, why are you watching me? You've got far better things to do. Have you done your homework? Um, so, and I, 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 was, I, was, I was in the car yesterday and I was just thinking, I was like, maybe we're asking the wrong, the wrong question. Like, maybe, maybe there's another question that we should be asking and we're just asking the wrong one. Sorry, let me just... Mm. Protein powder. <laughs> Shout out, Sammy. I wouldn't know how to make this without you, Sammy. But you took the fucking, the fucking Nutri bullet. I was, I'm trying to gain weight here, trying to lift, and you, you went and snatched the best tool for it. I'm looking up like high calorie shakes and all that, and I'm like, and it's, and they're like, you're going to need a a, a blender for this. So I'm like, Mum, where's the blender? And she's like, Sammy took it, and I was just like. So what I did earlier was, originally, I was going to use a mortar and pestle to make my smoothie. I had this, like, uh, I found this, like, recipe. Um, it was, like, peanut butter, honey, oats, banana, milk, uh, olive oil, which was a solid no. It was like a teaspoon of olive oil in my sugary shake. I was like, fuck that. I'm not having olive oil in that shit. Um... 
Although, Sam, you'd probably be quite a big fan of that, knowing you. Fucking olive oil, peanut butter. Uh, to those of you who don't know, my, my brother Sammy, he, I, I, his eating habits, uh, honestly, he's a crazy guy. He's a crazy Don. Like, he knows all about, like, the omega acids. Like, no, what, amino acids, like, omega-3, omega-4. I remember one time he came into the room, he was like, I've been having way too much peanut butter. I, <laughs> I'm going to start taking, uh, like, omega-4 tablets to counteract the effects of the omega-2. And I was like, what? <laughs> but, um, yes. So what I, I was going to use a mortar and pestle to make my shake originally, but um, mum was like, I, I, was, I was like, mum, where's the mortar and pestle? Which is not something I've said before. And then she was like, don't use the mortar and pestle, use the, uh, what's it called? The liquid, li liquid, liquid, liquidizer. But it was like, it's like this, um, it's like a mead blender on like a long rod and you just stick it in. Usually it's for like eggs and stuff. <laughs> so I was just... Uh, yeah, it was a very unorthodox. This is that's not what I'm drinking. This is just milk with uh, strawberry and raspberry protein powder. This has turned into a nutritional video. Um, but uh, yes, trying to get those calories. That's 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 what I'm trying to say here. Uh, back to what I was talking about. And by the way, I'm not stoned in this video. Uh, I wish I was because uh, uh, I mean I mean uh, I, I've moved into a little uh, life update for you guys. The videos I did film, which I might post at some point or another, but they're they're not chronological now, because in one of them I'm uh, I'm in the woods in France, which it was a really beautiful day, um, and it was a really nice video setting. And in fact, there was this French lady that saw me, and we started chatting, and she was out collecting mushrooms, and that was and we were chatting in French for a bit, and that was that was pretty good. And you may be thinking, well, why don't you just post that? It sounds that sounds brilliant, and it was, but. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm so sorry. Um, but I, I, I can't remember why I didn't want to post it. I think it's because it was just I was just talking. I was talking absolute shit in that video, and I wasn't even baked. Um, and then the next one, I was like, oh, so in my last video, and I was just, and that one was kind of dead. And then I did another one where I did a massive album review, which I will post, I think, uh, or at least I'll make another version of it. Because now I know what I want to say. I won't, I won't say what album it is. It's not Roasted Tea House. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get that variety. Trying to get the spice of life going. Um, but yes, I'm not stoned today. Although, you probably can't tell. I'm acting, I'm acting like a, a right weirdo. But as I was saying, I've mo I was in France. Dropped out of uni. Moved back. Now I'm in the office. In the garden. It's a garden office. Uh, basically just a, a, a posh shed. Uh, but it's been done up for me, and I'm getting Wi-Fi in here soon, which is going to be fucking popping. The the only reason I haven't moved in here is, one, uh, no Wi-Fi, two, no kettle. There's no kettle, I can't make my tea. That's a lot of protein powder. Ooh. Anyway, so yes, as I was saying, in this office, I, I did a, I did a hot box with my boy Matt um, the other week. It was the night before I left France, actually. Shout out, Matt. Um, and we got fucking zooted. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it would be good to have a joint right now. Um, but I don't. And this is just my natural state, for those of you who do not are not familiar with it. So you're going to have to deal with it, okay? Um, sorry, I was a bit, a bit harsh. I uh, don't know what to talk about now. Yes, I was talking about how... Well, yeah, why are we here? Maybe there's a different question we should be asking. I don't, if, I don't know what that question would be. Maybe that's the question we should be asking. The question is, what question should we be asking? Should we be asking why we're here? Is there any point to that? We seem to put meaning to everything. Like, even with events that have no... Meaning, like, we look for meaning. Like, uh, religion is a big example of that. Not advocating for it or going against it or anything. I'm just saying, religion is a big part of the puzzle to finding meaning in your life. For some people, it's everything. Um, for a lot of people, it's everything. It's, it just solves the problem. It's an easy, easy fix. Um, but... Uh, for those of us who don't, it's like there's a big void, and it's like, what do we do? It's like, 
some things happen and we're like, oh, it was destiny. Uh, you know, it was fate. You know, that's why it happened. We just put meaning on shit that doesn't necessarily have a meaning. And I think life is just such a a weird thing. It's, it's just a wonder we've, we've not gone crazy. Like, what the hell is anyone doing? What the hell am I doing? I'm talking to this weird device in this weird building with these weird pictures on the wall with a sky, the ground, like if you start thinking about everything on the most basic level, it starts to freak you out. You're just like, what the hell is going on? Like, what the fuck? And this is just a tiny, in infinitesimally small, that's not even a word, <laughs> uh, small portion of the entire universe, which is so fucking huge. The other day I was looking at the sun. Don't look at the sun. Well, I, I wasn't looking at the sun. It was, it was on one of my video games and I was looking at the sun. Because you can't do it in real life, obviously. Uh, we well, can, but you shouldn't. Don't look at the sun. Um, and I was looking at the sun. Obviously, it's not as bright as it was as it is in real life. Otherwise, that it's not possible. Um, but and obviously, it wasn't like a an exact replica of the size, but it was pretty pretty close. And I was just looking at the sun on my video game, and I was just like, "This shit is so big. It's so far away, but it's so big that it's the biggest thing in the sky." That's really poorly worded, but you get me, like. The sun is fucking huge, like... Okay, you're gonna have to pretend that there's a circle here. I'm gonna do it a few times just so you guys get an idea. The finger is the the pen. Yes. That's how big the... The... The sun is. Yes. And this... This... And it's, it's even smaller than that. The, the, the tip of my pinky, which is the smallest finger on my hand, is like... All the way back here. This is how big the Earth is. It's so big you can't even fucking see it. Yes, one-to-one, -one, completely scientifically accurate replica of the solar system. Um, but yes, it's so big, but it's also so... No, it's far away, but it's so big that it's still big. I promise I'm not stoned. Um, ah, I'm just feeling good vibes right now, people. Um, good vibes. Life is good. Not worrying about much at the moment. Uh, just feeling relaxed. Did some meditation earlier today. Mm -hmm. mm. This is the time. Daily reminders, everybody. It's time to check your feelings, right? You know, I'm, don't tell me anything you don't want. You don't want me to hear. Obviously, I can't hear you, uh, but. This is the time to check how you guys are doing today. Uh, just ask yourselves how you're doing, like how are things? Uh, sometimes, you know, I've fixed this problem for the most part, but back in the day, I didn't check my emotions and that meant that my emotions would check me. You have to control your mind because otherwise, if your mind isn't controlled, it will, it will dominate you, your thoughts, more importantly. There's this YouTuber called Exerbia, who I fucking love. He's a big inspiration for, um, like, my philosophy theme. Um, and check him out. Uh, <clears throat> and and he's British as well, which is cool. Although he lives in Bulgaria, I'm pretty sure. Bulgaria. And I remember when I found that out, I looked up Bulgaria. Because it's like, it's one of those countries. Bulgaria is one of those countries that's, like, in the East. Like, East Europe. I think. My geography isn't up to scratch. Anyway, I was looking at Bulgaria, and I was like, what is Bulgaria? Like, what is in Bulgaria? What is culturally significant about Bulgaria? What is the culture of Bulgaria? How big is Bulgaria? What is the population of Bulgaria? Obviously, it can't be that big, because I've never heard of it before. Well, I have, but I don't really know anything about it. Um, and then there's, like, Kazakhstan, and, like, Uzbekistan. Is it Uzbekistan? I think Uzbekistan might be a... a it might be from one of my video games. Uh, if it's not, I'm so sorry to anyone who's Urzik Stanish. Or he's, uh, <coughs> I'm going to stop talking. Uh, well, I'm not. I'm going to carry on, but not about Urzik Stan or Urzik Stanese. Um, and then it's like, what other countries are there that you just don't, you, just, you, you know they exist, but you just don't know anything about them. It's like there's so much shit on this planet. And then you get these people who, like, know everything, like Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Einstein was a geographer, but smart brainy people who know all this shit. But even these people, they can't. They they don't. Even, they don't know anything compared to anything. To, compared to everything, even the smartest people have no fucking idea what they're doing. And what does that say about the rest of us? We're completely fucking clueless. That's what I'm trying to say here. 
Oh fuck, need my protein shake. Mm. Mm. That's what I'm gonna call this video. We're completely fucking clueless. We're completely fucking clueless and I'm out of weed. Um, yeah. You know, I, uh, to get back here, I got on a plane by myself for the first time. I've been on the plane so many times, been to the airport, um, but I've never done it by myself, uh, but I did it by myself this time. Um, and let me tell you, I fucking hate airports. I'm trying to spread the love and the positivity and I, I, when I say I hate something, I don't mean like I want to, you know, like square up. Like, I, how do you square up with an airport? Um, but I, it, I, I don't like the way it makes, they make me feel. Let me tell you what happened. Right? I don't want to, uh, I don't want to dwell on this negativity, but I need to share this experience with you because one, we're running out of time. Well, no, two, that we have too much time. I have too much time to talk. Honestly, it's 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 a dangerous move for YouTube to let me post any length of video I want. I can just chat shit for as long as I want. It's a dangerous, I've, I've it's a dangerous power play on my part. So YouTube, watch your yeah, you better watch it, man. You've given me this power, so you, you better get ready for the the fruits of your labor. You reap what you sow. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, anyway, I was at the airport, and the first thing that really fucking scares me about airports is. Um, security, right? Not only do you have people walking around with machine guns, you have these security things which, if, like, when you walk through, it's like, and it beeps, you're like, oh shit, and they're like, stop, we need to patch you down. And it's like they do on the James Bond movies when they're like, when the, when James Bond goes into like a, a like a crack den, and then there's like the big tough guy at the door who's like patting him down, and it's like, and, uh, yeah, so, after that, I'm worrying about, like, well, no, before that, even, I'm worrying, like, I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to put my bags through security, I'm like, shit, what if I accidentally packed a bomb? It's, like, the most stupid shit, I'm sure that some of you guys can relate to this, it's like, you don't know what they're going to find in your bag, like, I don't know what's in my bag, I just put some clothes in it, maybe someone's put, like, a kilogram of cocaine in it, or when I wasn't looking, I don't know, and then, there's... I walked through to the gate without realising, like, I, I sort of semi-realising, and I forgot that you can't go back, um, you can't go back after you go to the gate in this particular airport, which meant I couldn't go shopping. I had 20 euros, and I was going to buy myself a sandwich, and I was going to buy myself a cigar, actually. Uh, I looked up uh, tobacco shops, because tobacco in this country is quite cheap. It wasn't France. Uh, uh, Okay, it was Spain. It was Barcelona Airport. Fine. I was looking up uh, Barcelona tobacco shops because in Spain, tobacco is cheap. Uh, here, it's really fucking expensive, which is good if you don't have a nicotine addiction. Um, shout out... I was about to shout... I was going <laughs> to... Shout out to all the people who are trying to quit smoking. I'm only addicted to cigarettes if they're there. Like, if I don't have any on me, it's like, I don't really care. It's like, but if they're there... It's like, I have to have it. You have to give it to me. And as soon as I buy a pack of cigarettes, I can't be throwing half of it away like some people do. It's like, people will be like, have like 10 cigarettes from a pack and they're like, right, I'm quitting. And then they'll throw them all down the toilet. And I'm like, no, don't do that. At least finish what you started, you pussy ass bitch. <sighs> Sorry, I've got a lot of energy. Uh... <clears throat> but yes, anyway, so I went through to the gate and I was like, oh shit. And I tried to go back. And then these two security guards, they're like, I mean, they're Spanish, obviously, so, like, they, they shout out to me, they're like, Donde esta el blader de la bebe? And I'm just like, I, I turn around, and I'm like, English? <laughs> and they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I, I've, I've lost, I, I, what gate am I supposed to, you know, D, E? And they're like, which, good, which gate do you want to go to? And I'm like, D, and they're like, they point in the direction I just came from, and I knew that that was the direction I was supposed to go in, but I didn't want to say, Oh, I'd, I'd like to go shopping, please. I didn't want to say that because they're two security guards with guns, and I don't, I don't want to look uncool. If I'm, if I'm not cool enough, they might shoot me. This is a dilemma. Um, and they're like, "No, you cannot go back. Uh, this, this is the way." And then one of them points to a line on this signpost which says, um, "Leaving this area is absolutely restricted." And they use that wording, 
absolutely restricted. And he, he pointed it to me, he looked at me like, and I was like, gracias. And I was just scuffled back to where I came from. So I didn't get my sandwich. I didn't get my cigar. God damn it. God damn it. I was pissed, but I was also terrified because these Spanish guards, they were scary, man. I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fragile being, okay? If you're holding a gun and, and telling me that I can't go shopping, it's like, what are you going to do next? You're going to shoot me. You know, it's like... <sighs> but what I really don't like about this airport, or any airport, is that you can't leave once you go through. It's like, I'm a human being with, like, I'm not even joking right now. Like, I'm a human being. I can go wherever the fuck I want. Like, you can't tell me that I can't leave this place. I know it's for security reasons. I just really hate how they, res as soon as you, it's like a prison, it's literally a prison. If you wanted to get out of there, I don't know what you had to, you'd have to do. Like, you'd, you'd have to be a special case, your flight would have to be cancelled. Like, as soon as you go through, you have to take the flight, you have, you have to go through. You can't go back. You know, and it's just like, it just, ah, oh, it's just, I just, I just hate that, I hate that. I hate being controlled like that. Especially when there's Spanish people with guns, okay. I don't trust people with guns, but Spanish people with guns, because I can't speak their language. It's like, I could call them, you know, a, a, a dick by accident. Mm. I don't know the dick for, I don't know the word dick for Spanish. I, you know, maybe I called one of them a dick by accident. They were just, and they were having a good day and I ruined it. And it's just, I'm just lucky that they didn't shoot me, man. I, I don't want to be shot. That's not cool. Please don't shoot me. Um... Ooh, had to get that off my chest. Um, now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now Trying to figure out what to talk about, man. I don't know what to talk about. I'm sorry. Let's check my phone for notifications. Okay. No surprise there. <laughs> uh, more of my protein. <clears throat> I'm snapping my fingers, hoping that it will stimulate my mind. What time is it? It's nearly five o'clock. It's 19 to five, for those of you who are wondering, although that might not be accurate, but a broken clock is still right twice a day. Um, uh, so, uh, lockdown, eh? Uh, kind of sucks, right? Uh, there's this thing about Joe Biden versus Trump and the election and all of this, blah, 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 blah. blah. Oh, man. Sometimes I wish I could just fucking, like... The, like, the news, man. Like, why is it always so negative all the time? Like, I'm not trying to say anything about no government conspiracy. Like, if you want to see some deranged motherfuckers, and I'm not saying they're deranged without reason, but I'm not endorsing it, neither. Look at the Sky News comment section. They go fucking off on Sky... It seems like people on YouTube fucking despise Sky News. Like, I thought Sky News was reputable, I guess. And it might be... A, it's probably an example of a vocal minority, but, like, if you go on the Sky News comment section on YouTube, on any page, they will chat absolute shit about the news presenter, about the information being presented, about the typeface they're using, all kinds of shit. It's like... They can't catch a break. Like, I'm not saying anything about, like... Um, I'm not. I'm not saying anything about coronavirus or like the the results or anything. But like, anything they say, it's like people in the comments will be like, "Oh, well, this this news reporter's clapped," <laughs> and then it will get like eight hundred likes, and I'm just like, "Woo!" Wouldn't want to be a Sky News presenter. Wouldn't want to be that guy. But yeah, I, the news man, like, it's it's just like what what good does it do me to know about someone who's being decapitated in Brazil? It's like. Sometimes you'll see that, like, a news story about something that's happened that will, that if you didn't know about it, would have 
absolutely no impact on your life whatsoever. Obviously, things like that are absolutely tragic, and I wouldn't wish them on anyone. But it's like, why do you have to tell me this? Like, you shouldn't withhold news, because um, that's just censorship. If people want to find it, they, it, it should be made available. Um, you shouldn't deliberately not report something. But on the other hand, the news on the TV is the shit that everyone watches. So I think you have to be really selective about what you put because it changes a lot of people's worldviews. Like a lot of people I know, including myself up until recently, used to think that the world was a shitty, fucked place. But the truth is that I think the world's always been having fucked up shit happening. It's just that now we're living in a time where we get to know about every single fucked up thing that's happening. Um, and we know way more about the fucked up things because humans crave that dramatic aspect to the news. That's why every once in a while I'll look up good news on Google. You guys should try this. And you'll just get, uh, all you get is good news. All you get is good news. There's no such thing as a bad news website because bad news websites is just the mainstream news. And I hate saying the word mainstream news because, or the phrase for mainstream news because it just makes me sound like a conspiracy theorist. Um, and obviously they're not the most credible people in the world, not saying anything about any conspiracy theories. In fact, I may or may not believe in some myself. Moon landing? Oh, the moon landing. I know a few people who believe in the moon landing, or believe that the moon landing was faked. Protein powder. Is it? Does it? You put powder in a drink and you mix it. Is it still powder technically, or is it? Am I still allowed to call it powder? Probably not, I should just call it a shake. Anyway. Yeah, I've, if you guys have seen the movie Interstellar, which is set a few years in the future, um, you have like this school teacher who talks about how she thinks the moon landing was fake and was a conspiracy to propel uh, the US or for the US to win, win the space race. Um, I thought that was quite an interesting detail. If you're one of those people, I I, I think that it's easy to play on like uh, public perception of the moon landing because it's so alien, like it's it, it's so crazy that we've landed on the moon. Like that, sh like imagine you told someone a hundred years ago that we're gonna land on the moon. Like so you t you told someone in like 1910, and this is when like the first planes are only just beginning to uh, like to exist. And even that notion is crazy. You tell them that in 59 years, um, we're going to go on the moon. And they're just going to be like, I get out of here, you young simpleton. I bite my thumb at you, sir. You dare, uh, you dare lay this poppycock on my front yard. Get off. I have my shotgun. I will shoot you. <clears throat> I don't think that's how people spoke back then, but it's, it's a representation. I'm just saying how crazy it is that we've been to the moon. So it's easy to like to tell people mm, there's some dodgy shit about it. Like so there's a lot of people who say, have you seen the photos? Why isn't the moon um, flag? Why isn't the flag on the moon? Uh, no, it's the other way around. Why has the, <clears throat> the, the flag on the moon, the flagpole in the photographs got a, uh, what should we call it? Um, why's it got ripples in the flag? There's no air on the moon. It's like, there could be a hundred reasons why there's a ripple on the flag. Like, it's, it, it's just like, easy shit like that. And then it's like, all the light sources in the photographs. It's like, I, I, I said I'm not taking sides, but I'm imitating the people who think it was faked with a really pretentious voice. No disrespect. I'm just, the people that I've met, they sort of, I don't know, they, 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 they think they know everything about it. And it's like, do you know how many people would have to be involved in a conspiracy involving the moon landing? How many people are involved in that shit? Like 30,000? Like all of the NASA people? All of that? Like, how could they fake it to that many people and keep it a secret? Like, it is... Nah. Nah. I don't, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. And it's like, people are like, yeah, the the, the light sources uh, aren't accurate. It's like, what? what are you a... What are you a... Uh, uh, <laughs> what, are you a scientist now? Like, it is... <laughs> Oh god, I am taking the side. Alright, I believe that people who say that the moon landing was faked are... It pisses me off, quite frankly. I feel that a lot of conspiracy theories about human progress are just ignorant. They're just ignorant. They, they, they don't want to believe that 
that humanity has progressed. And I think that it's absolutely necessary to believe that we believe that humanity has progressed in the last however many years, exponentially so. Some people can't wrap their heads around it. And it's like, well, neither can I, but like, it's good to have faith. It's good to have faith. Faith is better than hope. I don't mean religious faith necessarily. I just mean faith in things. Instead of hoping for things, have faith that they'll happen. That's, that's, that's the way I see it. That probably can't be applied to every situation, but, uh, well. Mm. <laughs> some news from my end. Whilst I was in France, I was making some music. Um, I like to do rap. Uh, in my free time, sometimes. I used to do freestyle raps with my brother after we smoked a joint. Shout out, Sammy again. Um, and we would go off sometimes. Some nights we'd go off on that shit. It was like, that was the main event of the night was the freestyle. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, but I've, I've made my own beats now. I've got some, some tracks. I'm sure that some of my closer compatriots will be keen to hear that. Uh, but I'm not sure how I feel about releasing them because... I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing. Like, writing songs is still quite new to me. Um, I've written a few raps, and then, like, two weeks later, like, what happens is I write them in a day, and then, like, I, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, surely you can't make a masterpiece in a day. It's like, <laughs> calling my own music masterpieces. I mean, like, surely I couldn't, surely this can't be, can't, couldn't have been finished in a day. And, like, two weeks later, I'll look back at the lyrics, and I'll be like, this is shit, like... <laughs> I've got a problem with, like, show not tell. Uh, I'm not sure that applies to rap at all, but, um, I don't know. I, I, yeah, it's more like subtlety. Like, I lack subtlety in my songwriting sometimes. Wow, I'm, I'm criticising my own music before it's even released. That's not a good sign, is it? Uh, but once I make something that I'm really proud of uh, and that I feel I've spent a lot of time on, um, or put a lot of effort into, uh, rather, I feel like it's not so much about the time, it's more about the effort, and usually effort is directly linked to time. Uh, that's not a, a foolproof equation. Um, but, yeah, so once I make something that I'm really proud of, uh, I'll release it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Like, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm not going for, like, a hardcore gangster rap. I, I like doing what I call songwriter rap. <laughs> uh, that might be a thing already. But if it's not, I copyright it. I know that's not how it works, but that's how it works here in my crib copyright songwriter rap speaking of which I haven't got a rapper name yet I'm trying to think of a rapper name or like a a, a, a name in general De Sanders I guess it's not that punchy though uh. mm. <laughs> but yes just to update you guys see a song on this channel I'm still thinking about whether to make a new channel for my music but I might just keep it here because that's just too much faff too much faff um, what other news have I got yes as soon as I do get my hands on some of that herb and for legal reasons I don't smoke weed I smoke grass um, Yes, obviously, as we're in lockdown, the situation isn't great, and the person who I procure my materials from is not from around here. Um, shout out to that guy. I won't, I won't drop a name. <laughs> um, my grass dealer. Uh, it is. Um, but yes, next time I do get some, I'll, I'll make a video, and I might get a mate over um, to smoke with me and talk, talk whatever thoughts come in. So I have someone to bounce off of and don't meditate every five minutes. <laughs> yes, actually, this is what I'm going to talk about. More about that Rose Hip Tea House video I made. It was funny when I got the comments because I knew that I'd made the video and uploaded it, obviously. But like, I'd completely forgotten what I'd said in the video because I was so suited. Uh, so I had to rewatch the whole thing. And some of the things I said, I was just like, oh, God. And then there were like points where I was just... I went quiet for like five minutes. <laughs> I was just watching it like, what is this? <laughs> but yes, thanks again to everyone who's seen that video. Uh, if you've watched up to this far in this video, thank you as well. Um, thank you for all the, new, all the new subscribers, all the new support. 
even though it's not that much, it's made me happy. It's, uh, it's, it's brought joy to me. Uh, and I mean that sincerely. I remember uh, before this YouTube, I've made a lot of YouTube channels in my time. Because um, I just get bored and want to make a new one. I've had this one since 2016, but before that I had one which I made when I was like 10. And I posted some stuff on that, which I changed the name of a lot. First it was... Um, shit, I can't even remember what it was called first. Probably like Russian Duck 77 That's my old Minecraft username on PC. And then it was Alkali Gaming. And then it was Alkali. Um, then it was Cake TV. And the reason I deleted my channel, actually, is because I was wanting to delete it anyway. But like, I looked up Cake TV after I'd... Um, after I changed the name, you can't change, you can only change the name every like 30 minutes, and no, 30 minutes, like 30 days, um, I think, it was like three times in 30 days, and I looked up Cake TV on YouTube just to see what else would come up, and then there was like this stripper channel, and I was like, I'm, like, 13 year old me was just quaking, I was just like, oh shit, I'm the, the police is coming for me, I share, the, I share a channel name with that of a stripper, Channel. You know, not to uh, discredit sex work, you know, I, I see a lot of people fighting for equal respect for sex work, and I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about that, but uh, uh, that's an interesting conversation, actually, about the validity of sex work and all that, and uh, well, maybe a bit too taboo for my YouTube channel, but I suppose nothing's too taboo for the Sanders, surely not. After I've talked about grass, I'm a bad man. I'm a, I'm a gangster. Um, but, yes, I mean, you've got, like, things like OnlyFans. And then it's like, why am I talking about this? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to make conversation. Uh, but, yes. I don't see why not. If it, as, as long as it's safe and you're having fun and you're happy with your salary, I don't, I don't see why not. Um... But anyway, what was I talking about? Yes, so I deleted my channel. Before that, the reason I'm telling you this story is because I was really into YouTube back then, trying to get subscribers. I think I got up to like 34 before I deleted it. Uh, it's my high school. And I remember the first video that got 100 views, and this was the first video that ever got 100 views for me, was this one on Star Wars Battlefront 1, which is a video game for the uninitiated. I was really into that game. In fact, I've got it. I've got it right here. I haven't played it in years. I'm not really into Star Wars. Oh, I got the Steelbook edition with... Oh, I tell you, when I got this on Christmas 2016, I was fucking gassed, man. Me and my pals. A uh, shout out to my boys again. Um, but yes, I made a video and that one got 100 views. I remember I kept checking the views and then eventually it just happened. And I was just like... I uh, did a little disco dance, probably. I don't know, I was like 13 or 14. Anyway, all of this to say, thank you for the support. Big kisses. Wow, big kisses. Big kisses, big protein shake. Mm. But yes, thinking about starting a podcast, I know I said that in one of my other videos, but that was before my brother left to... Uh, greener pastures to Vietnam. Shout out to me again. I'm spoiling you with all these shout outs, man. Um, <laughs> also, if you're watching, Sammy, I haven't watched your most recent videos. I haven't had the time, but I do now. I haven't had the time or the Wi Fi, but now I do. Oh, honestly, every time I go on holiday and come back, I get a newfound appreciation for Wi Fi. Like, every time I go out camping, the Wi Fi is always so shit. Um, and when I don't have Wi-Fi and I had to use data, I was being really cautious about Well, I wasn't being cautious. I was using a lot of my data. But um, it's kind of, it's nice to use Wi-Fi without thinking about it. I can just watch all the YouTube videos I want now. Before I was like, oh, I can't watch too many videos because they eat up data. And I'm just fucking watching everything. I'm watching everything. <laughs> uh, interpret that how you will. Um, but uh, yes. I will come around to watching your videos. If you have shouted me out in those videos, shout out to you. <laughs> anyway, moving on. What was I talking about? Ah, yes, yeah, Star Wars Battlefront. So, yes, thank you. Oh, I've already said that. <laughs> Ooh, that's probably a sign that this video has been going on for too long. And plus, it's now... Nearly five. It's only been... Oh, I need a pee as well. Oh, God, it's all going wrong. 
I think I might cut the video off there, folks. But yes, podcast, that's what I was talking about. Might make a podcast since I've got loads of free time and I've got basically my own recording studio now. Uh, get some people on. Think about what to call that. Think about what to call myself as a rapper. The Sands, probably. Um, I do like The Sands. Uh, if this video gets five likes, I'll explain the name of The Sanders in the next video. It's really not an interesting story. And in fact, I might have explained that already. I can't remember. But um, if I haven't, stay five likes, people. Five likes. Go down and like this video or dislike it. If this video gets five dislikes, I'll do it as well. Because fuck you. I'll do it out of spite. Uh, but if you dislike this video, I understand. If you've disliked this video and you've watched this far, I respect you. Shout out. If you dislike this, this video, I'll shout you out. Um, but yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think I might cut it there, folks. Uh, lots of exciting stuff happening. I need to pee, uh, so I'm going to cut the video. Thank you for watching, people. Big love, big respect to Rosehip Tea House, to Sammy, Mum, Dad, Tidy, Rio, to my boys, to the tree outside, which I've drawn. I woke up one morning at like, f uh, I remember first week of lockdown, I had this phase where I, would st I was staying up, because I remember start of lockdown in March, was, or it was end of March, really. Um, was uh, really good weather, blessed with the weather. I remember it, it feels really dreamy looking back, like those days where it was just so pristine um, and there was nothing to do, it was like a holiday. I was just vibing. Uh, <clears throat> but yes, uh, I remember when the weather took a turn for the worse at one point, I was like, as someone who gets depressed by shitty weather, or used to, it doesn't really affect me anymore. Um, I was like, I'm gonna sleep during the day uh, and be awake during the night, basically doing a graveyard shift um, with our job. And that's what I did. Uh, that's how I first started making these videos, actually, or the ones that are like these. I remember my first discussion video, uh, which was me playing golf on GTA and about how I got really high and started tripping balls. Um, it seemed like such a long time ago now, man. Uh, that was when I'd stayed up that was like the first night I stayed up. And I'd go to bed at like six in the morning. Uh, and I remember, I, the best part about doing that was I'd get to see the sunrise in the morning. Um, there's a different kind of energy, man, I, I, uh, in the morning. There's something about it, like, it's, it's such powerful vibes. Like, nobody's awake, yet it feels so vibrant. Like, seeing the sunrise after the distance was pristine, and especially during lockdown when the birds were chirping like 10 times louder because less pollution or something, uh, noise pollution. Um, it was like, you go outside and they'd be blasting. Like, and it was just, I remember one morning I just pulled up a chair in my garden with a cup of tea, uh, with a notepad and there's a tree in my garden over there, uh, an apple tree. Um, and I just drew it and it was just so beautiful. Like you could see the birds flying over, the sun coming up over the sky. It was fucking, and then I stopped going to bed at ridiculous times because that's actually quite unhealthy for you. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Peace and love. Shout out to all who's watched this far. Unless you just skip to this point, in which case, fuck you. Have a nice day. Only joking. I love you all. Penis.